So today I'm going to show you how to ball your electrode. If you have a transformer machine, it's nice to completely ball your electrode. You can also still do that and weld on an inverter like this. Uh, when I'm welding on an inverter, I like to actually sharpen my tip and then I'll actually just barely ball the end. And the reason I like that is it helps with your cleaning action. Just that little bit helps stabilize that arc and so when the cleaning action uh, comes off of it, it makes it nice and straight. If you have just a plain sharpened one, it works okay for a little bit, but then it'll start to get like little nodules on it and each one of those nodules will actually throw the arc in a different way. So your arc isn't quite as stable and so you don't get a good uh, cleaning action off of that. So today I'm using the trusty Invertig 221. Uh, if you have a transformer machine like a Synchrowave 250 or something like that, it will actually have a, um, a bar right here that you twist over so that you turn it to polarity or you change the polarity to electrode positive. On a inverter machine usually they have a balance setting or a cleaning setting uh, so if it's a if it's showing your electrode negative side like this and the dynasties you'll turn it down as low as it'll go and on the dynasty it'll read out ball on this one I just flip it to 10 if yours shows out cleaning or electrode positive then it would be the opposite you'd go as high as it could go uh, there's just two different ways that they uh, read out sometimes but basically if it's electrode negative or balance usually that just means that it's electrode negative and the higher you go the more electrode negative you get the lower you go the more electrode positive you get um, and then vice versa for the other one One other thing that I mentioned in my last video was about your uh, gas flow regulators don't always read out uh, what it says it is. So this one saying that I'm getting about 22 CFH, but I got this flow meter for the nozzle and it's reading out at 7 uh, milliliters or liters per minute, which if you double that it basically gives you CFH, so that's 14 CFH, probably 14.1 CFH. Uh, so there's a big difference. There's about, let's see, do some maths here, about eight, eight cubic feet difference between this and that, and this is on the low setting. So if I was using uh, 30 CFH, well actually, let's just see. So let's turn it up. Turn it down, right about there is 30 CFH, and it's saying that I'm getting about 47 from here. So it's nice to get these, you can pick them up for, I think this was like 10 bucks, super cheap. Alright guys, hopefully that wasn't a waste of time for you, thanks for watching. As always, uh, like this video if it helped you, subscribe if you're not already. I've got a lot of videos lined up. I've just been super busy. Haven't had time to film any. Uh, check out my Instagram at 5th Street Fab. And you guys have a good one. Thanks.